might remember back in October, we took you to Belvedere Square. We showed you the vision of Sam Story. That's right. He had just been named the executive director of the York Corridor Business Development Direct District. WMAR 2 News' Ashley McDowell takes us back to see what improvements have been made and what's to come. It's a popular spot to shop, grab coffee, a drink after work, or a bite to eat. The Belvedere Square Market. You look around, it feels amazing here. It's wonderful to come and have lunch. I'm here almost every day, walking the corridor, eating lunch at, at Belvedere Square. A bright look, but a bit of crime in the area has also opened eyes on a blind spot when it came to security. Overall, I think that things are a little optimistic here. Now, Max Marshall, who is the president of the Belvedere Square Merchants Association, says they have regular check-ins from Baltimore City Police. Having like a city police car coming in once or twice a day and having them come and stop and say, hey, even if they are just using the bathroom is makes a huge difference. Back in October, Sam Story had just taken on the new position as director of the York Corridor Business Improvement. Created to clean up the York Road Corridor, he had more lights and cameras installed, but knows it's a community effort to keep people safe. I think that we're moving a little bit towards actually um, having some of those folks in the community to coordinate with um, with our uh, local property owners to, to really make sure that there is direct personnel coverage. There are people standing outside promoting safety in areas where we have pockets of crime. Inside Belvedere Square, once vacant spaces are filling up. It's been great this year seeing some new places move in. Um, Scott um, uh, Donnelly, who owns the pizza places and his company, they're going to be opening up a new taco place, Pono Taco, that's opening later this summer. Another highlight is the summer series, which is in full swing. It'll be fun to sort of come in and grab a drink, walk around the square, and be there in a different context where, you know, the parking lot's not full of cars. You can sort of really get outside and play. There were a few bumps in making sure the summer concert series could be at its full potential. It was something that was addressed when Max and Sam were connected during WMER's last walk through Belvedere Square. One of the main issues that uh, Max raised was was not having the funding that they needed in order to have the event that they wanted, and we had funding available to promote events. Story signed on as a lead sponsor to the organization. When it comes to those uh, conversations, if you are running up against a wall with the city, we'd be happy to step in and smooth that process. It was a main goal of ours through that support that the cost would be as low as possible for participating vendors. Now they've become partners, and the next step will be to create a mural on the front of the building at Belvedere. Square, a design that celebrates Baltimore, expected to be completed by the end of the summer. In Baltimore, Ashley McDowell, WMAR 2 News.